Hi there, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and today I'm going to show you how to make this sweet little mosaic using sea treasures and beach glass and it's just the sweetest little thing in celebration of Easter. So happy Easter everyone. I hope you're having a great spring. Spring is actually here. You wouldn't know it here in Nova Scotia today. We had some snow last night. There's still some snow back in the woods but the buds are coming out on the trees and spring is coming and before we know it it's going to be beach weather every single day so happy easter where you are i hope you're having a wonderful spring so what you'll need for this project is a frame and i have a really small frame here actually the glass in the frame is only four inches by six inches and i've secured the glass in the frame with a bead of silicone all the way around the edge and i've let that set and now i'm going to make my bunny on this glass so what i want for this i've taken out my jar of black stones i love collecting black pebbles i see them on the beach and the sun shining off the wet pebble and it always attracts me so I tend to pick up a lot of black pebbles and a lot of white pebbles so I've got those plus I have some sea glass here all different colors and you'll see as I go here what I use for sea glass and I have my quick seal kitchen and bath adhesive caulk I have my little sticks for cleaning off messy bits my tweezers and a bit of paper towel to clean off the messy bits. So that's all I have. I don't need a whole lot to do this project. Now, a few times, if you follow me on YouTube, you've seen me try to do the five minute mosaic. So what I'm going to do is set my timer here and show you in real time how long it takes me to do this one because Let's face it, the five minute mosaic is a bit of a myth. It takes a long time to do a mosaic, but I think I can get this one done in five minutes. So I will see, we can give it a try. So first I'm going to attach my bunnies. So I have a body of the bunny, the head, and two ears. So five minutes, obviously, I didn't do five minutes start to finish because I've spent a bit of time preparing my frame and picking out all the pieces that I want to use for this one. So I'm going to have a big bunny and a little bunny. And I'm making this for my granddaughter. So this represents me and my granddaughter, two bunnies. And she's crazy about bunnies. She has this bunny that she sleeps with and it is her absolute favorite. So that's why I decided to do this for her for an Easter treat. And now I've got some white pebbles. Here's the white tail, white bunny tail on the big bunny and the white bunny tail on the little bunny. Now I'm going to put some glass in here. Now I will confess this is probably the first time that I've ever shown a design on my YouTube channel that isn't an original to me. This design is something I saw on Facebook and I thought it was really sweet. And the person who posted it didn't, the, or the one I saw, said that it wasn't her original design either. So I don't know who the original designer is for this pattern. But um, I just loved it and I thought that would make a sweet little gift for my granddaughter. So I'm copying it. Now people often will copy my designs and I have to be honest, I love to see people copy my designs because I love to see people making art with their sea glass. So if you ever see one of my designs and you want to copy it, go for it. Now I'm also going to put a flower on this side. I have this few little brown pieces of sea glass to make a stem for my flower. Uh oh, put that one upside down. And um, 
yeah, so if you ever want to copy my design, go for it. Because just the fact that you're doing sea glass art is fantastic. Check out this pink piece of sea glass. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but this center flower center right here is pink. Pink for me is a very rare color. But if I'm going to use it in a special place, something for my granddaughter is really special. I'm a bit of a fan of being a grandparent. It's the joy of my life. And I need a little bit more grass on this side. And just using small pieces of sea glass in a small piece works. And I've got a few pieces of aqua sea glass to make some clouds in the sky. So I'm not using a ton of sea glass in this, but I'm using lots of colors. Now this is something that's really different. Here are some white rocks that I've painted. I just took a bit of acrylic paint and painted these and so they look like Easter eggs. So these are like the Easter bunnies leaving the Easter eggs behind in the grass. And it's just a cute little touch. So I did all this ahead of time. So as you can see, five minutes may be a bit of a myth on this one. And there you have it. I'm going to put a few little blue here. I've got all the colors of sea glass and I've got my mosaic made in five minutes. I hit my five minute mark a little bit more. But this is just the sweetest little thing and I'm going to have this sweet little gift to give to my granddaughter for Easter. So happy Easter everybody! I hope that this is fun for you and you had fun watching me create this cute little mosaic and it gives you some inspiration for something to do. And if you make it to the beach, happy sea glass hunting.